In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to boost a Facebook post. My name is Lester Diaz. Welcome back to the channel. And in this channel, we talk about making money online, affiliate marketing, social media marketing, and everything in between. So if you're new, consider subscribing. All right, welcome back to another episode of Facebook Ads for Beginners. In this one, we're going to cover how to boost a Facebook post, the proper way of doing that, which is one of the biggest mistakes that beginners make when it comes to boosting for engagement, getting traffic. I'm gonna show you the proper way to do it so you don't make this mistake. And in this series of Facebook ads for beginners, what I'm hoping is that I'm gonna have three, four hours of content where anyone can jump into Facebook ads and they'll have a better understanding of how Facebook ads actually work. So if you enjoy this content, if you appreciate what I'm doing, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming soon. So with that said, let's jump into the training. Talk about how to boost a post on Facebook. And I have created uh, a Facebook page where I'm gonna use this as an example of all my videos so you can see every single aspect of what I do. And you can learn from what I'm doing and you can replicate it with your own Facebook pages. Because Facebook makes it extremely easy to promote something, doesn't really mean that you should use what they're giving you. What I mean by that is, as you can see on the left-hand side of my page, there's a promote button. I wouldn't actually use this to promote my Facebook page. And there's also the boost post option under my every single post that you create on Facebook because they want you to simply just by clicking a few things, you can start advertising on Facebook. Now, if you click on it, you'll see that They'll make it extremely easy for you to just create an ad. Now you can choose the call to action. You can choose who you're targeting and the budget, how many people you want to reach. So, but the thing is, I don't recommend you to do this. This is not the way to post a post. The best way to do it is using the Facebook ads manager. So I'm going to jump into the Facebook ads manager. I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to post a, a post properly so you know exactly what to do the next time you want to boost a post so there's multiple ways that you can do it you can boost a post to get traffic you can boost a post to get engagement uh, you can boost a post to get views but let's say you just want to get more people to engage with your post you want to get more likes more comments so the next best option is to choose engagement so now we are in the ad setup page. This is where we're gonna choose our targeting. And if you watch my previous video, you know that the targeting options for Facebook are basically unlimited. You can do so many combinations. You can do, you can target so many different people, audiences, places, languages, ages. Let's call this boost post, just to keep it simple so we don't get confused. Um, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna choose the United States. We're gonna leave it like that. I always like to go 21 and older, not 18. Uh, men and women. So I'm gonna click English here. And now comes the detailed targeting options. Now the detailed targeting options, because my page is mostly about, you know, uh, building an income online and growing a business and making money online. So I, perhaps I, what I want to do is I want people to engage with my content who are into the same type of space. Let's say you have a local business. Well, you would have to target people locally in that, in that area, maybe, maybe three to four miles around your business. Uh, perhaps if you're just trying to sell something, if you have a blog, uh, like a blog that talks about news and information, uh, politics, then you would target something like CNN people who read CNN, people who read Fox News, people who read, uh, you know, the major publications out there. Now, if you have a, a page like mine, when we talk about making money online and growing a business, then I want to target people who also have big pages uh, that talk about making money online and growing a business. So I would find people who have large followings on Facebook and that I will target those people to get them to engage with my post because if they engage with my post, then I can get them to perhaps like my page, visit my website, or watch a video, or whatever it is that I want them to do. Now, there's other ways to do that. You can also go to the browse section. For example, if you keep, click on business and industry, you can see that there's uh, advertising. Uh, there's also business section here. There's also 
entrepreneurship, there's marketing, you can get people that Facebook considers that are entrepreneurs that they actually are into making money online in the same thing. Now for this targeting, I have to trust Facebook. And that's something that I really don't like to do. Now what I can do is I can set up multiple test campaigns with different targeting options and I can choose entrepreneurship, I can choose marketing, I can choose, and I can test those ads to see if they actually get the results that I want. And for that, you can go to the create multiple new ad sets, and that allows you to choose different targeting options. And like I said, I covered this in my previous video, but that's gonna help you know uh, which of these ads work best. It's gonna help you understand if you're getting the results that you want for the money you're investing. I, I'm not going to go into the details of targeting right now, uh, meaning that I'm not going to look into the pages that I want to reach uh, because I just want to show you the boosting posts, how to do that specifically. But this is a section, this could be a whole entire video just talking about this. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to go to, and I'm just going to leave Facebook. I don't want Instagram. I don't want audience network. I just want the Facebook feed for now. Um, we're going to go to the next page and daily budget. We're going to set up um, $5 per day, or we can just do a lifetime budget. For example, let's say I want to do, I want to boost that post for $50 and I want to reach as many people as I can for that specific amount. To make it just simple, I'm going to change it to daily budget and I'm just going to do $5 and then I can go manually, I can go back to uh, my Facebook ads manager account and I can pause the ad if I wanted to, I can stop the ad anytime that I want to. Just because you're setting up a daily budget doesn't really mean that you can change that later. Or you can, you know, stop the ad if you want to. So I don't really typically set a start and end date because I check my ads every single day to make sure that they're getting the results that I want. So even if you set up a daily budget, you can always change it and do anything you want later on. So now we have post engagement. Uh, in this case, I leave it like that. I don't do anything special. I just leave it on post engagement. And I'm going to go and hit continue. Now we are in the page where we're going to choose exactly what type of ad you want to post. But the, the process is, is a little bit different because once you go from the ad set to the actual ad set up, then you're going to land on this page and they're going to ask you, hey, you want to create your ad. And we're going to ignore this entire page and we're just going to go to use existing posts. Now, once you choose uh, the existing post, you can name your ad name. You can change your ad name if you want. I'm not going to do any of that because I just want to show you how to post the post. But you choose your Facebook page and then you select a post you want boost. Now I only have this one on that page because I created a page brand new just to go and uh, grow this page while I'm teaching you on my Facebook ads for beginners series. I'm gonna click on it and you can see there's the post and uh, it said sponsor. So that's exactly how it's gonna look on Facebook. If you can see how it's gonna look on desktop. And now we can do uh, something like we can add a button to call to action. So let's say we, I want people to send me a message, for example, and I can just click on update post. You can always change all that. Uh, if you want, if you don't want any type of messenger, you can just remove that uh, and you can just leave it like that. If you want just people to engage with your content, the next step is to just confirm your ad. We have skipped the whole process of creating the ad. If you watch the first video on episode one, we went through the whole process of setting up the ad, uh, choosing an image and creating the tags and all that. In this one, we just choose the post that we wanted to promote from the Facebook page and that's it. That's all we needed to do. Now, the key to this is your targeting option. The difference between using this the ads manager to boost your post and the regular boost posts Facebook provides is that with this one, you have more control. You have more targeting options. You can do more tests. You can test different audiences and you can do different things that you can't really do with this. You'll be just hoping that you're going to get the right people to engage with your content. With this one, 
you'll be able to know exactly which ones are coming to your post, how many people are engaging, and if they're, they're the right people for your post. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoy episode two on how to boost a Facebook post. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And hopefully in the next video, you'll learn a little bit more information where you can master Facebook ads and you can use it to advertise, promote whatever it is that you want to promote. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.